Hello everybody, uh, Dr. Rick Wallace, heading out real quick to grab a bite to eat uh, before I get back and get on the grind. And I have something on my mind I wanna share with you real quick. Uh, before I forget, uh, you guys get prepared. We're taking uh, the, the teacher's production to the next level. Uh, we're gonna have one more episode for this year then we're coming back on january the 8th and we're bringing in uh more powerful uh guests to really truly enlighten you to what's out there and what's possible and we're talking solutions on a number of different levels uh, also that uh we have partnered with linktree and i'm so excited about that rick wallace enterprises is partnered with linktree so all of my subsidiaries uh their best resources can now be found in one place. So you click the link, the link tree link that's in the box. And there's definitely something in there that can benefit you or something you can be a part of, something you can grow from and so much more. And so with that being said, let me talk to you about why I'm here. I have spent countless hours uh, writing papers, doing research, writing papers, coming up with solutions, developing theories and moving towards theorems and doing all that stuff that people like me do. Uh, all to reach some sort of practical idea of what's best in the way of solutions and actionable uh, protocols and tasks that we can actually move about and do that brings us to a better place. And, and you know, anybody who has been around for any amount of time and, uh, you know, paid attention to what I move, you know that I have uh, spoken heavily, worked heavily, lectured heavily, written heavily on the impact of multi-generational trauma and the things that we have received from our ancestors that tend to be highlighted in the negative. Well, what I want to do real briefly is I want to make sure that we don't get so caught up into highlighting that negative element and component of trauma that we don't realize the unbelievable gifts that have been passed down to us by our ancestors that are positive. We get our resilience from our ancestors. We get our spirituality from our ancestors. We get our highly uh, creative, uh, ingenious uh, ability to engineer almost anything from almost any point in place from our ancestors. We get an ability to rise above from our ancestors. Uh, just as much as some of the things that are holding us back can be traced to our ancestors, the very answer to our enigmas are also hidden in the ancestors and those who came before us, those who lived before us, those who uh, we now represent in uh, in our in our in our in our genetics in our lives in our presentations and our operations in this world and i want you to understand that in the history of who we are as a people is the answer to our current dilemma don't get so caught up in it and i know that i can be very heavy on it because i deal with trauma as a professional so I know the damage that it does, but I also know that we have inherited the resilience of our ancestors. We have inherited their uh, luminous creativity. We have inherited uh, the ability to move b above and beyond uh, the constrictions of our social environment and do exceptional and extraordinary things. And I know that we have the key within us to move from just a selective few doing the remarkable to the collective being remarkable. And I don't want you to forget that. Don't ever, whatever happens, forget that our ancestors blessed us way more than it cursed us. And so with that being said, keep your head up, keep focused. We're going to get it. We're not going to stop until we have it. We're not begging for it. We're taking it. And on that note, Click that link for Linktree. Find something blessed in there. Also, support the work we're doing at the Odyssey Project. On that note, look, I'm out of here. You guys have a great day. See you soon.